Good morning. Thank you so much for staying with us here on the local vibe. If you are just joining us, though, you're right on time to learn about an event making its way back to High Point this weekend. Yeah, it's the fourth annual Father's Day Walk in Solidarity, and it's on Sunday. It's being hosted by the Men's Huddle Organization, and there's still time to register. And there's some changes that are great coming there this year. So let's say good morning to Greg Commander and Tony Graham. Tony is the co-organizer of the walk. Greg is the founder of the High Point Communities Men's Huddle. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having us. So Tony, we would love to start with you. Can you talk about the significance of this annual Father's Day walk? We understand you're in your fourth year now. Yes, um, this is our, our fourth annual walk. Um, Back in 2021, during the pandemic, a group of us from the community came together and started meeting on Mondays just to kind of discuss some of the things that were plaguing our community. We wanted to put our men back in significant roles, wanted to create mentors, we wanted to actually build from within. So what, what we were looking at is looking at different organizations, different individuals, building on their strengths thus minimizing their individual weaknesses. So collectively, we show strength and power. So that's the significant of, significance of our walk. We walk in solidarity to change the narrative and show the community at large that we are men, we are mentors, we are community leaders, and we're here to make a difference in the communities that we serve. Well, obviously, it's his fourth annual walk, so it's obviously having an impact on the community. Greg, we're going to go to you. Tell us about the men's huddle. What is what is special about it, and why did you want to be involved in an event such as this? Well, first of all, the men's huddle is uh, we're creating a safe space for men to come together um, to create strategies to go back into their community to make to be a better families to be. Uh, a better means in our community because we feel like the means are, are, are left out in our community and for developing our community the means are very important uh, um, uh, in this in this equation to make a difference in the community so we try to create strategies and uh, vision to to let a man see himself uh, in that space um, to to make a difference because of, as of now we are we're lost and we feel that we're not seen, we're not heard, and we're not represented uh, about one another. So that that's just a little bit about what we do, and and and, and I, I enjoy being part of this because anything to bring community together and to show that that solidarity, uh, I think is going to be the beginning of a change in our community. Now we understand that there's not just the walk this year, there's also a cookout. Can you talk more about the addition of this and why you felt it was an important part of fostering that community spirit, um, Tony? Well, well, yeah, um, or Greg, whichever would like to answer that one. Well, I, 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 yeah, I would love to speak on that. I feel that the, that the cookout is something that we do as a people. You know, cookouts are always exciting just to smell the grill, but we feel like um, uh, not only do we want to walk, but we want to celebrate. We want to also celebrate, you know, the moment, the Juneteenth celebration. Uh, it's Father's Day. We we, we want to celebrate the both together all in one. So we give them the vibe of, of a cookout, and we also uh, uh, give that passion, that love, and that friendship, and that kinship of being together as our reunion to walk together. Tony, for the walk itself, what sort of impact do you think it has had on the community up to this point, and what do you still hope to accomplish? Yes, um, so through the walk, we have been able to forge multiple collaborations. Um, Commander and I, we, we've worked together even pri prior to the walk, but we've been able to continue that relationship some of the things that he's been able to do with bot so um god bless our, one of our um founding brothers with um hank wall you know we've been able to actually show the community the strength and working together uh, and we're just continuing that so we, we've also over the last two years joined with carl chavis why so part of what we do is actually assemble as men, showing our solidarity, but we also show the collaboration of joining the Juneteenth celebration, which this year will be, I 
at um, Truist Point, where they'll be honoring Fantasia Barino. But that's that's another um, example of how we are impacting our community. We're impacting through collaboration, through solidarity, through collective engagement. So we want our families, we want our youth, we want all of our, our members of our community to see this example and, and join with us as we try to find ways to collaborate and, and make a better world and a better community. Greg, Tony, thank you both so much for your time this morning and everyone at home that Father's Day walk in solidarity is this Sunday, June 16th. The lineup will begin at 1230 p.m. on the corner of Centennial Avenue and MLK Jr. Drive and then a celebration at Truist Point Stadium will follow immediately after.